about a one-to-one -one grid transfer for an image. So for this project, you guys are going to need a few necessary materials, and then there's going to be also a couple of unnecessary materials, just in case if you get to have them, it will make your life easier. Grid drawing is a proven technique used since the Renaissance period. Famous artists use the grid system to transfer images of their references to help produce their artwork, and it makes it look more natural without distortion. The purpose of using these squares helps the artist to isolate shapes of the subject, thus making it easier to define and draw automatically. Logically, any shapes that appear within the small grid will not mean very much, and that is the main reason it makes drawing less complicated and easier to help focus on the smaller scale of the shapes. So one of our famous artists that we're going to be talking about is Kehinde Wiley. He's a contemporary artist that does use the grid technique to create these large-scale appropriated paintings. Another artist that used the grid technique was Albert Dürer. He was considered a German master artist and printmaker. As you can see, his drawings and paintings are highly accurate due to his use of gridding. Here's another picture by Albert Dürer. This is Night, Death, and the Devil, and he also used proportion in this artwork when he was using his grid technique to make sure that the relationship between the horse and the rider was very accurate. And now it's your turn. Please make sure that you have all the materials listed and let's begin. You're going to need your clear plastic, your sharpie, and your ruler. Please make sure that you guys are lining up your ruler with the edge on the left where your ruler begins and start making a mark at every one centimeter. Once you have that across the top, you're going to push your page up and do the exact same thing at the bottom. Please do not rotate your paper. Once you have the top and the bottom done, rotate once to complete the other two sides that you have not done previously, again making a mark at every one centimeter. Once that is complete, you are going to take your paper, from left connect your ruler, to the right with the other side of the ruler and make a straight line across. You are going to keep doing that until you finish your paper so that you have parallel lines all the way across. Rotate your paper once again and then complete it on the other direction. Once you have that complete, you should have your grid. With your grid now complete, you can slip your image underneath the plastic and or in between the plastic. Make sure that you guys are lining them up right on the edge of your sharpie line so that way you're able to more accurately transfer your image for the final step. Now you're ready to start on your final sheet of paper and adding the grid to that sheet of paper. So again we're using the exact same steps starting with connecting our ruler on the left hand side, starting with centimeter marks, and then continuing down the line until you reach the end of the paper. You slide your ruler down, and then finish all of the centimeter marks on that side. Turn your paper once, and then start up again up at the top to complete your first line up there. Slide your ruler down to the bottom, and then complete all of your marks with your centimeter marks right there. Please make sure that you guys are using a 3 h pencil or if you don't have a 3H pencil, just use a very loose hand so that you're making very light marks across your paper. You are not pushing hard because you do not want to one, damage your paper or make it more difficult for you to erase later on. Now that your paper is complete, we're gonna start talking about how to transfer over your final image. So you're going to take your picture, slide it underneath the plastic you just completed, and make sure that it lines up along your lines. You are also going to start transferring over your marks. So A, B, C, D, all the way across the top until you reach, reach the end of your image. And then one, two, three, all the way across on the left side from the top to the bottom of your image. This will make it a lot easier as you start to transfer over your image. You are going to be focusing on major outlines first, going back in later to get in your details. So you notice I'm slowly but surely checking my boxes. So I'm seeing what is an H1, what is an H2, and I keep going down all of these boxes until I make sure that I have completed the major outlines. If you guys get stuck, please use this as a reference so you can use this cross method. Where does it intersect within the box itself? Is it in the middle? Is it towards the bottom? And you can use that to complete your image. 
Now that that's complete, here is my example. So again, I went around the major outlines, then went back and added in the smaller details. And then here's an example that I had made a couple years ago. So I had a student photo, and then um, I had all my grid lines out, I drew her face, and then I erased out the grid lines later so that I could color. Now that we've practiced gridding, what was the most difficult for you? What was the most fun? And what can you keep in your memory bank for a future project? Thank you for watching.